One of the best technique tips I can provide with the CO2 laser is to really use it in a repeat delay or shuttered manner. I think that with the pulse delivery systems, the CO2 laser can be used to make an incision or a zone of vaporization in tissue that is precise, that is exactly what you see with a relatively minimal zone of surrounding thermal injury of less than 25 to 50 microns. But what we know is if we take that pulsed wave laser and just turn it on, that pulsed laser energy will continue to direct itself into the tissue, to, will continue to be, penetrate the tissue and be absorbed by the tissue until we turn it off. So the best technique I can have for surgeons who are beginning with CO2 lasers, particularly if they're operating on the vo vocal folds, is to use the laser in a repeat delay or shuttered manner. The digital Accublade facilitates that by allowing you to deliver a relatively large area of laser energy at one point in time. You then, you've set the pattern and the laser will go off and you can choose how long the laser goes off for. It can be a tenth of a second, three tenths of a second, five tenths of a second, or a full second. Then you, during that time, you have the opportunity to move the laser beam to another spot and it will deliver that laser energy again in that same pattern. So you don't continue to cut into the tissue until you take your foot off the pedal. Again, the biggest technique I can give somebody who's beginning with the CO2 lasers is to use it in a repeat delay mode. I think that repeat delay mode is facilitated by the digital Accublade system. This applies in laryngeal disease, supraglottic disease, subglottic and tracheal disease as well. This also applies in terms of teaching residents.